Hello, Orlando. It's uh, been a whirlwind of a week for me here with the Orlando Philharmonic, but uh, really just a spectacular week uh, packed with meeting phenomenal people and working with this wonderful orchestra of yours, the Orlando Philharmonic. So this week I had the great opportunity to meet with many, many different folks here at the Orlando Philharmonic and really uh, throughout the community. Uh, I met with the friends of the Philharmonic, uh, with the board of course, uh, and then uh, we had wonderful meetings with community arts leaders and community leaders in general. And it was really uh, great to meet all these uh, folks from different areas uh, that you know, really make this community special. I've seen really amazing things here in Orlando this week. The cultural scene and the art scene is so vibrant and there's so much going on here and uh, so much possibilities waiting to be realized as well. Uh, you know, with all these great arts organizations that are in town, um, the possibilities of combining them and collaborating with each other are they, they are endless. Also this week, it was of course uh, very exciting to see all the great things that the Orlando Philharmonic has in store here. The acquisition of the new plaza, which is a great space, if you haven't seen it, you really need to see it. And the renovation that is taking part there now, um, it is a very, very exciting project and lots of really great possibilities waiting here uh, for new programming and reaching out to new audiences and really, you know, serving the community in yet another way. Um, also, of course, uh, the Dr. Phillips uh, Center is just spectacular. I, I saw the plans for the new acoustical hall that will be built right next to it and be a part of the whole center, and those plans are just fantastic. I'm very familiar with the amazing things that the Philharmonic does in terms of education. And this week, one of my highlights personally was to go visit UCP, a wonderful school, and we did an instrument petting zoo, and I uh, did a little, uh, what I call a silly symphony with the kids, and uh, that teaches them how uh, a conductor works and what it really is that a conductor does. And it was so much fun to see those kids try it out and have so much fun doing it and experiencing the music. And I especially enjoyed uh, later on that instrument petting zoo and our concert mistress Rima, she w went around the room with a tiny little violin and had all the kids try out uh, playing the violin and some of them, the, the joy in their eyes is just amazing. That was a great experience this week at UCP. It's been a real pleasure to see how uh, the musicians, the orchestra and myself, we, we locked in and we were able to make uh, music together. And for me, for a conductor, it's always important to be able to show things and not have to talk about it. And that really happened this week uh, with the Philharmonic. And uh, it just locks in and the musical product is just ever so much more beautiful. This has truly been a fantastic week for me. Uh, to see all the things that are in place here with the Orlando Philharmonic already and to see uh, where the Philharmonic fits in into the community. Um, there's so much potential here and um, I would be excited to work with the organization to realize that potential and see this wonderful organization grow and be healthy for many, many years to come.